<laughs> All right, so the Oakland A's have recently bought some land in Las Vegas. They may become the Las Vegas A's pretty soon, and that is a pretty big development. There has not been a lot of relocation recently, and that would set a trend maybe for the Rays later on because they might try to leave their stadium. So we'll see. But anyways, today we got Oakland baseball news on. He is here as an A's fan to represent the team a little bit uh, as we talk about the relocation. How you doing, my man? Uh, good. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. So I think essentially you guys have been, as the fans, you guys have been given the middle finger. Um, I'll even quote uh, the Oakland mayor. She came out with a quote. She said, all the way back in February, they're looking to maybe work with negotiations, work to keep the team in the city. But now we're at the point where she came out about four days ago last week and said that if there's no hope. Oakland is just being used for leverage in Las Vegas. If they don't want to go to Vegas. They can go. What do you think about that? Should is it time? Is it past hope to stay in Oakland? Um. Yes and no. Um. I think they can. Las Vegas would be a nice site for them. I think. And Las Vegas would be a nice site for them. But Oakland is where they is where they have majority of their fan base. And as I've seen the Raiders. And their attendance these last couple of years since they moved to Las Vegas and see what the A's have done. I think the A's are just better off staying in Oakland where they where they belong and where they belong and um and John Fisher needs to um also sell the team and he needs to John Fisher needs to get the team Need to get get the team to an owner that would actually care and who would spend money. And I think if you give it would. Do you, th- do you think they're past that point though? It seems like the owner thinks the or excuse me the the mayor of Oakland thinks they're past that point. Do you think they're past that point or no? I had read something the other day that I believe this came from the mayor. Saturday, I think she said that um, they would be willing to work with the A's, but under new ownership. They want new ownership, and they want new ownership, and they feel like they could get a deal done with new ownership. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see if that ends up happening. It seems unlikely, but you never know. That's true. So I have a question just to press a little bit. I hate seeing this happen. I hate when fan bases lose their team. It's never fun. Um, But also, I'm torn because I'm an MLB fan uh, also. And I think Las Vegas would actually be a great baseball destination. Of course, I don't want to see it to the fans. But how would you counter someone when someone says, like, that stadium's a dump, they've needed to leave, and you say you want to stay in Oakland, how would you counter someone who says it's about time that they left for a bigger market like Las Vegas? Um, I think um, even if – that's another tough one because – I yeah. think even if they move to telling somebody um telling somebody to move to Las Vegas, that's kind of a um like it's tough or like yeah, it would be yeah, it's tough. Okay, so there's um, the argument to that. There's the fan argument too, and I hear a, a lot of that I've heard is that the A's are a very loyal fan base. I don't doubt that. I've seen them at the games. They have historic history. They've had like nine World Series titles. They've been in Oakland since the '60s. Um, I, of course, they have um, you know a passionate fan base, but is it a very large fan base? In 2012, they were ranked 27th in attendance. In 2017, they were ranked 29th in attendance. In 2020, they were below 10,000 with nine an average attendance of 9,973, which was dead last in MLB. What would you say to that argument that, well, you know, the fans are passionate, but there's not many. Should Should teams with less fans lose their teams? What do you think about that? How would you counter that? Well, 
the reason why we have a very low fan base is because nobody wants to go to games. Because the problem is, when the A's, they have this thing where it's when John Fisher doesn't give any money. And when he does give money, and he gives, so, he gives very little, he can't pay anybody. So when all these good players like Matt Chapman, Matt Olsen, all these good players come up for contract, um, we have to either trade him or let him go if we can't trade him in time because our owner doesn't give doesn't give the money and that's why people don't and people don't want to spend their hard earned money to go to games because the product they put out on the field is not that good of a product. And what I personally believe if you give if John Fisher sells the team to um Joe Lake up you would get a bunch of A fans that would probably start going back to games if they stay in Oakland. Yeah. I that's what I would think. I don't disagree with that at all. No, I don't. GMs can – I think that's more of an MLB-wide problem than an Oakland problem. But, no, yeah, GMs in smaller market areas will say, listen, I just don't want to spend. It's not feasible. That is how you lose fans. I do, I do agree with that. What should the fans, the Oakland fans, now knowing that they've bought land in Las Vegas – what should your fans be approach be now? You kind of mentioned that some are staying home. Should that be their approach, or what should be their approach, uh, the Oakland A's fan base? Um, just stay at home. Don't stay at home. play the game. Because, because, because you want to be able to show you want to be able to show that you care and you like this team. Just don't go because it um because. Don't go because I believe it would show the city of it would show the city, and I also believe it would show the owner that people are just tired of it. Yeah, yeah, that might be kind of tough and, to keep them that way, though. But you're right; it would send a message, and it would hurt their pocketbooks a little. Last question: uh, What's your final verdict? What are you going to be doing? Because uh, you you know you own a fan page. Uh, what what do you how do you feel towards the team right now? Is they're threatening leaving? Um, right now, I don't, I'm going to stick with this fan page, um, and if they do move to Vegas in a few years, I will change my name, but, um, change your name to stay a fan. Oh, would I stay, would I stay a fan? Yeah, I would. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree, though. I think sports are supposed to be – they're supposed to be for the cities. It's tradition. And some of these owners, like, uh, you know, they just turn into this big corporate machine. And I, I agree. I think we need to – I think it's terrible what's happening to A's fans. I think in my person – me personally, I think it might be a little late. But fight back. I do encourage you guys to fight back. Um, And, and you say that's by not going to games, so we'll have to see. But anyways – uh oakland uh baseball news uh we will be following your page and we'll link it but thanks for coming on all right all right thank you